Hello, so I figure while my husband and kiddo are out and about, I will do another uh, grocery market find uh, new food that I've never had before. And today I found a dragon fruit. See? Um, this little fruit, as you can see how small it is, this thing was $5. There was no prices on it, and I didn't even pay attention when I checked out until, like, I had already left, and I was like, holy crap, $5. I better be, like, young, or I better, like, cure something, or I don't know, but, um, or it better taste, like, amazing. <laughs> but, um, it's definitely gorgeous. Um, it has a little give to it. There's like a little belly button or something there. But anyways, I kind of Googled to see what I'm supposed to do with it because I've never really, I've heard of them. I've just never had one. I didn't know, you know, do you eat it through the skin or whatever. So we're going to check this little guy out and see what it's all about. In the meantime, I'm going to put you somewhere. I don't know where yet. I guess right there. Never mind all my cabbage soup makings in the background there. I'm be making that hair later. So, from what I understand, it's probably good to make a good flat surface in the bottom. And it'd probably be easier to make one on top, too. Oh, it's very pretty. Wow. Okay, and then you just kind of peel the sides. Let's see if we can't actually peel it now. This is really just the prettiest. Look how pretty that is. I wonder if you can dye eggs with that. That would be kind of cool. Maybe I'll set that aside and we'll see if we can't do something. And you notice too, now that it's off and it's not as, um, as, I guess, pulled taut, it almost looks like flower petals on there. So then we have our little fruit, and I guess I'm going to slice it kind of like a kiwi, because I want to try bites, but I also want to try it dehydrated because that sometimes will intensify the flavor. And from what I'm understanding, this doesn't have a strong flavor on its own. So I'm all about intensifying. But how pretty is that? Is that not just... It's a lot like a kiwi, but isn't that pretty? Yeah, it is so pretty. Not that food has to be gorgeous to be edible. Cooked spinach is a fine example of that. Okay, so here goes nothing. I have a giant zit on my face, so I'm not filming myself because it's like seriously needs its own zip code, so. That's really good. It's weird because you bite in at first, there's like no flavor, but then as you chew, it's very juicy, but as you chew, it gets like this sweet that hits your tongue. But then as soon as the sweet hits your tongue, then this like tart hits your tongue. And it's got the texture of a, a firm kiwi. That is really good. I just can't afford to spend $5 on several. But that's a dragon fruit, guys. And I'm going to save this skin. I'm going to dye eggs with it, or I'm going to make an attempt, and I'll let you know how that goes. Just because, I mean, why waste it? Got to be something you can do with it, right? Sure would be nice to grow these. 